Hello and welcome to Crypto Schnack. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I hope you have a great weekend, guys, and a wonderful Sunday to everyone. And we are looking at the construction site in Giga Austin as always. Um, having a look what's happening over there. I have prepared some more news for you today. Uh, before that, I would like to thank Jeff Roberts as always for giving me the opportunity to share with you his drone footages. The link to his channel is down in the description. Um, we will look at the biggest supercharger that will be built. Um, we will also look at the um, 24 seven operations we see in the Giga Austin construction site. And as well, we will look at the um, estimated Cybertruck news um, because um, it could be very soon that we see Cybertruck um, construction happening and Redwood materials. I would like to talk about this one and the boring company related to what's happening in Austin. So guys, if you like all that, please do subscribe to my channel. I would really enjoy that if you could um, support my channel and we will dive into right away. So first of all, um, California is one of the areas where we have the biggest density of cars coming from Tesla. It has always been the birthplace of Tesla. And so far, uh, most of the cars have been always um, sold in California. Um, and this is the reason why the supercharger stations are getting bigger and bigger. And one of the biggest ones so far in the world will be bought um, 56 supercharger stalls at one big station in the Bay Area and another one in Los Angeles. The average is it is six times bigger than the average. And we have seen only charged um, only charging stations with 50 stalls in China so far. So we see where the road is going and Tesla will definitely increase the capacity of each station because the demand of cars they have already sold is so big. So they have to do that. So this is really exciting to see that they are um, adapting to the demand. Furthermore, we are looking at the um, construction site here and we have seen that um, um, Jeff Roberts have stated that as well, that there is clearly construction happening during the night shift. So this means we are sitting at the 24 seven operations right now. And this means we will see many, many changes and constructions um, happening in the next weeks. And this means we could actually potentially look at a um, um, trial production of Cybertruck in May 2021. We know that there's a lot of challenging challenges, um, building a new car, um, ramping up the production. And it is in this case, not the model Y that has slight changes at, to the model three. No, it is a total new car. It is a Cybertruck. And so in this case, I believe we will might see some um, issues, but maybe not as big as for the model three. So this is really exciting news for all reservation holders of the Cybertruck. Um, and always remember it is only for the US um, market because the kind of way the Cybertruck looks, it would get some issues in the European market or maybe as well in China market. I don't know that, but definitely it will be only sold um, in the United States at the first. Um, and another thing which is really interesting about the giga austin construction site is that actually the boring company has listed jobs in the region of austin so there are speculations that there might be a boring tunnel to the um, austin city or the airport who um, where it could happen that in the future maybe people could drive in a tunnel to work from the city um, um, let's see what uh, we can expect here, but um, there are definitely um, jobs online for people who want to work with the boring company. So we see boring company is picking up its game. More and more projects projects are happening. And I think as well, this is another company that will change the way we um, live, the way we interact with people and the way we drive um, to work or to um, places we like to visit and something um, not so many um, newspapers are actually talking about is of course the issue of re, um, the battery recycling 
and the um, last um, one of the first people who is part of Tesla, um, Jeff Straubel, um, is um, actually uh, the founder of Redwood Materials. Um, uh, Straubel has been um, starting its business, um, I think, a year ago. And Redwood Material will focus as well on batteries for a better future. And the batteries in this case are recyclable and they will recycle everything and make it in this case even more um, sustainable. And I think this is a, one of the businesses that could actually turn into a billion dollar business in the future because um, we do see um, recycling of um, cell phones or laptops or computers. That's, that's all fine. We do have that products already for a long time. But if we imagine Tesla and other automakers are going into um, electric cars, um, there will be a massive demand for recycling and there are strict regulations. You can't just dump it somewhere in the nature this doesn't um, work like this. And so in this case, there will be an entire new industry of recycling batteries. And I think um, Strobel has here um, a great opportunity to make this company a billion dollar company for sure if um, the competition is not picking up really fast. So here the question is if Tesla will do it by themselves or if the good connections between Tesla and Strobel are actually working that way that he is gonna try to get the recycling of um, Tesla batteries. And he will um, actually bring the uh, lithium and the um, uh, entire resources uh, needed for making a battery um, like cobalt and all that. He will extract that again and he stated in an interview that he would be able to actually recover 90% of what has been inside. So there is really almost no um, garbage left. Um, so in this case, um, this could bring an entire new industry. And at a certain point, we could think about the fact that if we don't have any resources anymore, like lithium or cobalt or anything um, that is needed for batteries, um, there might be a point in the future that um, actually most of the electric cars might be built from recycled batteries. And if you think about this as a business opportunity, uh, Schrobel is right at the perfect time and perfect place to start this business. And I think um, more and more people will talk about Redwood Materials in the future. It is one company. Of course, there are new other companies too. but. Um, the investing barrier is pretty high because you need a lot of um, machines to ex um, actually um, extract all the material. But I, I do really like the idea and it, it's something we should have all as Tesla supporters have an eye on because if we support electric cars, if we um, support the movement of renewable energy, we should always think about supporting a company who is actually recycling batteries. And in this case, Redwood Material is a great, um, great company to do so. And I believe they are not listed on a stock exchange yet. So that's something we can look at in the future if they get listed. So this is um, pretty much all from my side today. I would really like to thank everyone who has been supporting me in the past weeks. It has been a nice ride. I'm a small YouTuber. And of course, um, it really helps me if um, people support my channel. Um, and I hope you like the way I do the Tesla news. And if you do so, please do subscribe and support my channel and so on. I wish you all a wonderful Sunday and a good start into the